first, obviously, you can talk about how he hypes a fight and then talk about his skill set. Yes, well, in terms of hype, he is, um, he is the great white hype. I mean, that's really what he is, an Irish guy, um, born and raised, and four years ago was living on welfare in Dublin and was a good fighter but not a great one and over time just kind of found a way to propel himself to greatness with this amazing promotional ability by calling out rivals and taunting them and more than that what he's quite famous for is calling his shots like Babe Ruth some kind of grand proclamation about what he's going to do something that sounds impossible and then sure enough he goes out and does it now these have all been in the context of other MMA bouts. This is very much new territory for him, as everyone well knows. Competitively, uh, what he's known for is uh, he's a left, he's a southpaw. He has a very, very heavy left hand, and his jiu-jitsu is good, not great, but his striking is actually quite excellent. Um, pinpoint accurate, not necessarily a physical dynamo in terms of speed or agility, but has very, very, very good timing. And, and actually out of character for Floyd, like I haven't seen Floyd this ramped up in a while, and you mentioned that Connor was a lot of character. Yeah, so Connor is usually, if it turned up to 11 at things like these, and the UFC press conferences are radically different from boxing press conferences. In UFC press conferences, Dana White shows up and literally just says, who's got the first question? And the only people on the dais are the fighters themselves, and they don't really police how they talk to each other. So it just turns into these wild melees, especially if Connor's there. That format really enables him. Mayweather is too smart for this. He will not allow it. They cut Connor McGregor's mic at times. Uh, this is a Mayweather Promotions event, really. So they have structured this in a way, and Connor has agreed to this, but they have structured it in a way where Mayweather doesn't have to play the dozens with Connor because he will lose badly. Floyd Sr. is actually way more clever than Floyd Jr., and even Floyd yesterday, Sr., crashed Conor McGregor's press conference with the media and tried to do it with him. There's a 17-minute video of it, and he gets his ass handed to him. It, it was not a good scene, and it was really good. I was actually surprised at how uneven it was. This is all by design. They want to turn Mayweather up. They want to keep uh, McGregor constrained. But to your point, you saw McGregor, oh, excuse me, Mayweather saying these things, using these curse words. You know, I've covered a bunch of Mayweather fights in the last few years, and they've always been, you know, he's the elder statesman. He thanks the media. He thanks the various companies involved. He thanks his opponent. This time he was pulling out checks from a backpack and uh, talking about how Connor had tapped out to Nate Diaz and all kinds of things. Really, really antagonistic. I, I, partly I, I feel like it's a little bit out of character, but also you, know, you cannot let Connor get in there and say the things he normally does and say you're just going to take the high road. Other opponents have tried that. Rafael Dos Santos, Jose Al. It did not go very well, at least for the latter. The former, uh, they never ended up fighting. But it, you cannot let Connor run the show. I think Mayweather knows that. You know, Mayweather tries to claim that he doesn't watch the MMA or the UFC and tries to say he hasn't watched the training videos of McGregor. But it seemed to me that when he stepped up there and he started doing the arm stretching, that he was trying to mock some of Connor's training. Uh, yeah, of course. And in fact, when they asked him about it later, do you guys remember a couple of weeks ago, the videos came out yeah. and it was one of Mayweather on a bag and then it was McGregor on a bag and they would splice them together. Right. Um, they actually asked him about that. They asked Mayweather about that. And he was like, he actually defended Connor. He actually said, well, I was in the double end bag and he was on the uppercut bag, blah, 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 blah. But the point being is he consumes all of this. Look, Mayweather is a scumbag. And McGregor is a feral animal, and they both have their good parts and their bad parts. But what you cannot accuse them of, even though they might play it off in public, is being ignorant and not observant and not paying attention. These guys consume everything. Conor McGregor talked about how James Tony fought Randy Couture, and Antonio Inaki fought Muhammad Ali in Japan. Right? These guys know about the history of crossovers, although they didn't mention Ray Mercer and Tim Sylvia, and there's a couple other ones you could point to as well. But... These are smart guys who know exactly what them get, well, at least in the case of Mayweather, get themselves into. But Connor certainly is aware of, I think, some of the challenges and the histories related to these kinds of activities. In person, you were at the Pacquiao fight. Have you seen any deterioration the last several years? Um, if there has been a deterioration, he has disguised it quite well. Right. Uh, I, actually, I actually interviewed Canelo Alvarez, and that's a really important one because that was a fight that took place at 154, Canelo is famous for being a, a, a very heavy puncher, and obviously 
decorated boxer. And I asked Canelo, I said, what is the most frustrating thing about fighting Floyd? The answer was, he's like, you just can't believe it, but the guy has no problems not merely boring you, the fan, to death. He does not care about that at all, but that he is totally okay with winning a round by three punches if he has to. He will do the bare minimum to win each round because he is defensively better than everyone and because he can make reads and adjustments better than anyone. And so it is very, very hard to fight a guy who only wants to, A, fight you on his terms, and, B, is happy to not quite run around the ring, but avoid contact as a result. He'll freeze you with his fakes and feints. And so, um, you know, has his punching power deteriorated? Probably. Um, has some of his reflexes and speed deteriorated? Yes. But he's got a lot of tricks to freeze you in space, to get out of the way, land when he needs to, and coast all the way through 12 rounds.